Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. In today's class, we are going to pay special focus on forward flexion of the spine, how to do C curve to open the posterior line, the back line of the body. So let's go ahead and meet me on the mat. So we're going to start the class on a modified quadruped. So align your wrist and your shoulder in vertical alignment and the knee slightly more forward than the pelvis. Find your longest neutral spine. So what I mean is that I don't want you to slouch the back. So if I really try to get the tailbone, the sitting bone to reach out of the spine and the crown of the head to go in opposite direction here and actively press your arms down and press the shin down and lift up the abdominal muscles here. Now take an in-breath. As we exhale, we're going to go into a little curl in the spine. So we're going to round the belly here. So pay special focus on rounding the lower spine, the lumbar spine, and then the upper spine follows through. And then return back to that long neutral spine and take the upper body up, the upper spine up to an extension. Go back to that neutral spine and then actively join the abdominal and curl the lower spine here. So I don't want you to push up and round the upper back here. I want you to gradually draw in the abdominal and then curl the lower spine and then the upper spine follow through into a flexion or C curve and lengthening the spine and taking the upper body into a reverse C curve, which is an extension. Two more there and flexing the lower spine, right, lengthening and reverse C curve into an extension. Last one, flexing the lower spine and the upper back eventually. Now we're going to stay here. Actively have your hands printed on the floor, then sit the pelvis back to the heel so you feel a, a big stretch in the lower spine there. Return back to that modified quadruped, maintain that curve, and then sit back again. Keep the arms active and reaching. Keep the neck long as well. And then lifting up, shoulder over the wrist. And again, exhale. So you should feel a nice stretch in the lower spine here. In breath. Exhale, the stretch. It's going to be more intense if you keep drawing the abdominal deeper and deeper towards the spine and then bring it back. Two more. Curl the tailbone. Like as if you're a, a cat and you're just going to pull the tail from underneath you. And then bring it over. Let's do one more for a bonus. And then sit back. Arms actively reaching away. Abdominal actively pulling back. And then bring the shoulder over your wrist. Unravel the spine and arch the other way to neutralize the spine. And come back, have a sit. Have your leg crossed? No. Have your leg in diamond leg position? Not crossed. Okay, sitting nice and tall here. Gentle press of the sole of the feet against each other. One hand in the front belly, the other hand in the lower spine. Lifting the spine tall here, take an in breath, Exhale, I want you to draw in the lower abs and the middle abs here, and then you feel the abdominal pressing the lower spine backward, yet bringing the upper spine forward here. So the pressure of the abdominal is really intensely towards the lumbar spine, and then unravel back to that neutral long flat back again. Exhale, empty your front abdominal, and bring the abdominal to the lumbar spine. You should feel the lumbar spine pushing the back hand. And then the upper spine would just fall forward, but take care that you do not collapse down. And when you collapse down, you feel the belly sticking out. So I want the belly to be empty towards the back, but I want the upper spine to be actively lengthening out as well. And then inhale, lifting up. So this is how we did the C curve. Exhale, actively join the abdominal, pressing into the lumbar spine. The upper spine is actively curling forward. So I said actively, we're not slouching down. Actively curling forward, and the neck is aligned with the rest of the spine. And inhale, lift up. Let's do one more time there. Exhale, belly in, contract towards the lumbar spine, rounding the back forward, 
and then lifting up. Now let's take your arms off and let's do the same thing again. We exhale, so remember pulling the abdominal into the spine. We actively pull the upper spine forward and as if like someone's pulling you forward with the arms. And then we lift the spine tall. One more, exhale, actively pulling the lower abs towards the back. And the upper arms, the upper arms, the arms are reaching forward, pulling your body wanting to go forward and then lifting up. All right, moving on to the roll back. So we go into that C curve, we have to breathe out. Now here, maintain the C curve, move from the hip joint, move the whole C curve from the hip joint, rolling the pelvis backward, backward, backward into, maybe you can touch the lower back on the floor, and then exhale, come back up again. Maintain that C curve, backward with the abdominal, forward with the upper back and lift the spine up tall. Let's do two more. I'm just gonna come forward. Exhale, actively pulling the abdominal back and then maintain that C curve. This is the C curve. Then we're going to move the pelvis from the hip joint, rotate the pelvis back, 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 back to when there's no turning back. Then you're gonna pull it up again. Forward, 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 forward and lift. All right, last one. C curve. Actively move the pelvis back from the hip joint. Back, back, back. When there's no turning back, then pull yourself back up again from the hip joint. And then lifting up tall. And we need to go down to the floor. And we're gonna roll back again. And we're gonna go all the way to the round back. Perhaps you may have to have your hands underneath the thigh. Go ahead and do so. Take the feet to a parallel position, hip width distance apart, arms long by the side, rest the head down. Just readjust the position, we're going to move on to our pelvic curl. So let's do half pelvic curl to start. Take an in breath, exhale. Again, draw in the abdominal, imprint the lower back, your tush, your pelvis is gonna come up. And I want it to come up just to the lower rib cage. So my rib cage is just still on the floor. The last rib cage, maybe it can come up, but lower back's floating. Then can we intensify the abdominal connection to really stretch the lower back down, vertebra by vertebra, and then come back to that neutral line. Again, exhale, belly sinking in, right? We're creating a little volcano crater here. And then curling up just to the lower rib cage. Hold an in breath. Exhale, can we intensify the curl by pulling the abdominal deeper and pressing every single vertebra down to the floor and lengthening the pelvis to the heels. One more time. Exhale, abdominal, curling up, curling up just to the lower rib cage here. In breath, exhale. And sinking, sink more, sink more, 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 and then release. Okay, now let's check it to the full pelvic curl. Exhale, full pelvic curl, passing the midline. Then we're still moving with the hamstring, taking all the way up to the highest bridge position. In breath, exhale, from the top of the spine, we melt down like a melting candle, melting wax, melting honey, melting chocolate, whatever is gooey, have that thought in your mind and release back. Again, exhale, we roll, curling, roll, curling, roll, curling, roll, curling in breath. Exhale, we imprint every single bone down to the floor, like you're gonna stamp them down with an ink on the floor. One more, exhale and deep curl, passing the meat section here. Then deepen up as you come up all the way to the bridge. Yes, your hamstrings are feeling it, right? There's a whole point, your hip extensors need to work. Your inner thigh needs to work, in breath. Exhale, then we're gonna stretch and open the back line. Brilliant, okay, release. Interlacing the hands behind your hip. Right, elbows are off the floor. Take an in breath. Exhale, we're going to do chest lift. We curl up. 
into a forward flexion here. Make sure you really support the weight of your head in your hand like a hammock here. Now hold that position, exhale, do me a little half pelvic curl and then release and then you can come down with the upper back. Again, exhale, lifting, flexing from the lower ribs to take the upper back up, hold and then curl the pelvis up. So I really just have my lower rib cage on the floor, the rest, my upper spine, my lower back, my lower spine, at off the floor and release the bottom one and release the upper one. Again, exhale, flex, hold, and curl, flex, and down, and down. Again, two more, exhale, flex, and then we curl, so just a lower rib catch on the floor here. And back, and down. Last one, please. Flex, and curl, 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 curl. And down, down, down with the pelvis, and down, down, down with the upper back. Well done. Take the right arm up to the sky. Adding rotation here. Exhale, forward flex across to the opposite direction here. So my right arm is on the outside of my left thigh. And what I want to do is just stay here. I want it to get a deeper flexion and a little bit more rotation. Hold that. A deeper flexion, which means coming up higher and more rotation, which is going towards you. And two more. Flex forward and rotate. Pelvis still stay square and forward and rotate and come on down and the other arm come up and rotate to the right and flex forward come up a little higher and rotate further and flex forward and rotate further the pelvis stays in the middle and forward and rotate one more forward you're gonna feel that obliques working and come back to center come on down awesome Straighten the legs, we are gonna do roll-ups. If straight legs is too challenging for you, please go ahead and bend to the knees. Okay, so straight leg, arms up. Forward flexion, arms by the side. Now, before you come up, I want you to tuck the bottom up. So tuck the pelvis up, deepen up this curve, and then you lift up your spine from the hip joint. You maintain that C curve. We talk about the C curve at the start of the class. We pull back in the lower abs. We pull up and over forward with the upper back then you maintain this curve move from the hip joint just basically move the pelvis and bring it down to the floor you touch that chest lift position let go of the pelvis and then take the arms overhead again arms chest lift deep curl through the lower abs now lifting from the hip joint pull back pull back pull back with the abdominal come forward 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 with the upper back then move back from the hip joint sacrum 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 then take the arms over one more and up and then curl lifting up lifting up lifting 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 pull back pull back pull back pull back and then stay we bend the knees we bend the knees we pull the feet. We have that beautiful C curve happening here. We're gonna lock the shape with the arms here. So bring the heel squat close to your thigh here. Right, from there, maintain the C curve. My feet are floating, rolling like a ball. We roll back to the shoulder. You come back, compress the feet. And again, roll back. Don't let your legs kick away. So focusing on really rounding the back like a ball. But we want to have an active long C curve, long curve. Two more. Up, over. Last one. Up, over, over, balance. And press the feet down. Straighten the legs forward. All right, spine stretch, half your feet as wide as the shoulder, maybe a little bit wider if you need to. And then Honor the spine here. You may bend the knees here, but we're going to focus on stretching the back. But if you can have your legs straight with the back straight, amazing. Otherwise, that's all right. You can have the legs slightly bent. Arms forward. 
All right, so the spine stretch, which is a roll down. We curl the spine, we bring the spine forward, peeling off from the imaginary wall, peeling off, going to a deep flexion through your lower back. And then once you don't have any more deep flexion, then bring the pelvis forward. In breath, hold and intensify the stretch by pulling the abdominal in. Exhale, roll up, 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 and tall again. Exhale and revel the spine, rolling down, rolling down, rolling down, rolling, pull back in the abs, come forward with the spine, and then eventually the pelvis come a little bit more forward, in breath. Exhale, pull back with the abs to imprint the spine back against the imaginary wall behind you. Again, roll forward, 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 pull back in the abs, pull back in the abs, pull back in the abs, in breath, and then pull the abs back to imprint the back into the imaginary line wall above you. Stretch the arm, reach up tall, 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 stay. Just bring the feet together into a diamond leg position. Now, a little side, stretch or side reach here over to your right i want you to keep both midline both waistline long reach over to your right keeping both waistline nice and long and come back to center and over to your left keeping both waistline long with a slight bend and then come back to center and your sits bone are still anchored heavily on the floor reach up to the sky and come back Inhale, reach up to the sky, go, 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 go more, and come back, one way to side, reach out. The idea here is to create space in between each vertebra, and uh, the idea is to go taller and tallest. Reach out and anchor the sit bone down, 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 and come on back, awesome. All right, bend the knees, nice and tall, C curve. Round, pull back, roll back, roll back, roll back, roll back, roll back. All right, arms up to the sky and arms overhead. Bring the feet in, bring the feet in. We're gonna go into a hundreds, but we're going to do progressive here. So breathe out, arms up, sorry, arms up to the sky. Breathe out, come forward. Right, see if we can lift up a little higher. Five exhale, five inhale. We palm the arms. Inhale, can we come up a little higher off the ground? Exhale, can we pull the belly into the floor? Inhale. Now lift one leg up. Inhale, second leg up. And stay in the tabletop. And up a little higher as you inhale. Up a little higher, inhale. Now, if you like to, you can also extend the legs with me. Otherwise, you can stay in the tabletop. The idea here is to maintain the height of the chest. So if you find yourself dropping down, maybe you should bend the knee back again. All right? And lift and reach forward. Two more sets. And hold, bend the knees, hands on the knees, head down, chest down, and hug your thighs for a second. All right, maybe rock left and right, maybe turn your head left and right. All right, so broken down, broken down, double leg stretch. Lift the head and the chest up. Right, my arms are active, pressing the legs down, and also trying to help my chest up here, but I really want my shoulder to stay away from my ears here. Now, what we're gonna do, we hold and maintain the upper back. We stretch our arms overhead. Do not lose the height and circle back. Inhale, do not lose the height. Pull the abs in and back. I'm really trying to, my best to keep the height of the chest, which means my upper abdominal is crying at the moment. And in breath, exhale. Two more, in breath, exhale. Last one, in breath. Exhale, lift up a little higher. Now we're gonna maintain the upper back as well. That's time, we're gonna stretch the legs. So arms long by the side. We can stretch the legs diagonally 
and pull in. If that's too much for you, go up to a certain height that is doable. In breath out, exhale in. In breath out, so you choose the height of the legs. Inhale out, exhale in. Two more out, exhale in. Last one out, exhale in. Hands on the knees, come on down for a moment. Right, we're gonna combine all of that. So honor the height of the legs that you chose before and keep the height of the legs, all right? And then lift the head of the chest up, press down, pull in on the abs, long with the bottom on the floor. And we got inhale, arms, legs out. So honor the height of the leg that you chose before. Exhale. Again, find that flexion. Exhale. Three more, reach. Make sure it's challenging enough for you, but still work with good intention, good integrity. Last one, and pull, 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 and come on down. Brilliant, lower the foot. One, two, straighten the left leg down, take the right leg up, grab the back of your thigh, extend, hamstring stretch. All right, make sure that the pelvis is still nice and open and grounded on the floor. Dorsiflex, ooh, you're gonna feel the stretch to the back line of the leg here, and point. And again, reach and point. And really trying to make this challenging for you. Maybe you can really go to your maximum dorsiflex, pull in a little bit and point. Two more, flex. And make sure your bottom is not flying off the floor. And point, we bend the knee, take the foot down, bring the other leg in, stretch the first leg out, grab the back of your thigh, repeat. And stretch the leg. Whoa, this is way tighter for me. We flex and point. And which is the more challenging side for you? And point. And that's the side that you need to give a little bit more attention and perhaps spend a little bit more time and stretching that side. All right. Again, flex, 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 pull, pull, pull. And point. Again, let's two more here. And point. Last one, flex, 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 pull, pull, pull. Okay, Ooh. all right, we bend the knee, bring the other knee up as well, press down with the hands, curl up and rock yourself up. Okay, open the thigh, lift the chest for a modified open leg rocker here. So the back extensors, the back muscles are active. I'm still growing tall. My arms are still active, pulling back against the legs. All right, now take the feet off here. I want you to, we're gonna round the back, curl, right? And then we roll and we come forward and then we lift the back tall. Again, we round and we come back. We're gonna do one more, the same. And then we're going to do with straight arm. Round, roll, back, lift. Now, keep the whole shape, grab the ankles. One, two, lifting here. So the arms are on the inside of the legs. And we round, we curl, we come back, we present. Again, we round. Remember the rounding back, pay special focus on the lower and the middle abs. And so you mobilize the lower back and the sacrum and left, last one, round, back, and left, lower down. Straighten the legs, have them parallel, dorsiflex the feet, hands down by the side. This is your pike here. So arms to the side of your hip joint here, press down so your bottom may lift off the floor, press down, we curl the lower abs, we round the back, maybe you move the pelvis slightly back and then bring the pelvis underneath the shoulder and then we'll release back, okay? So press down, so deep coil in the lower abs, maybe pull back, come under and back. Maybe you don't pull back, maybe you just try to get into that curve in the lower spine. And press, pull back and under, one more. Press, pull back, and under. 
well done and forward fold from the hip joint grab whatever you can on your leg straighten the leg and lengthen and pull down pull down pull down stay here three two one go a little bit more and then come up spin your leg behind you and we're just going to neutralize this spine with some back extensors exercises and then we'll be done all right arms long by the side and we go lengthen the spine lifting up back extension and down again make sure the lengthen you lengthen the pelvis down towards the feet there and then inhale to come up and your legs are parallel they're not too wide and come down again two more lifting and down last one we stay and inhale lifting stay grab the hands interlace reach off the bottom legs together float the legs off all right let's go into a little swimming we're going to inhale paddle the legs from the hip joint and exhale your arms are active pulling the back behind to the back towards the feet and exhale inhale the legs muscles are active knees are straight moving from the hip joint in breath five exhale in breath five maybe we can come up a little higher on an inhale exhale inhale up exhale two more up exhale last one up exhale and release down and release the forearm push away round back sit the pelvis back stretch your arms away into rest position in breath exhale and then as you exhale i want you to actively pull the lower abs so your pelvis can really sit down on the heels and actively pull the arms forward away from the shoulder in breath exhale last one and then go ahead and roll the spine up all the way and find yourself in a beautiful long spine all right my friend that was it thank you for joining me today enjoy your beautiful open spine for the day and i'll see you back on a mat take care